guys, how is it going? I'm back with another Dormant video for you guys. I'm back with another Illuminati video for you guys today. I'm so sorry I've said that so many times it's Dormant, but it's not Dormant. It's Illuminati. It's Illuminati this time. Poor janitor meets a girlfriend's rich dad and what ha what janitor does is shocking. So this was a, su a suggestion by Sri Lankan Tamazon. Sri Lankan Tamazon. I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry if I did not. I'll put the thing here. And yeah, but uh, that's the suggestion for today. Um, I know I have a lot more in the past that I haven't got to, but I don't know if I'll get to them at some point, maybe we'll see. But I don't think I've done one of his suggestions in a while or ever, so I'm going to do one now. So, we're going to start recording this now. Um, so, tw tw 22 minutes, 12 seconds, this is a bit of a lengthier one. But definitely more lengthy than the Dharma video I just did, but that video was still 20 minutes by itself, even though it was only a 9 minute video. Because, you know, I talk way too much. But... Again, poor janitor meets girlfriend's rich dad. So poor janitor meets girlfriend's rich dad. Okay. Like, you know when you kind of like read something, but you don't, I don't actually think about the title. You just kind of like read it without thinking because I'm so tired, tired right now. Yeah, so poor janitor. So a janitor has, has a girlfriend and the janitor's really poor. And he's going to marry the girlfriend's rich dad. So this is going to be... This will be something. And then but, and then what the janitor does is shocking. So let's go, guys. Curious what happened here. This girl is in every Illuminati video. I swear to God, this girl is in every single Illuminati video. It's crazy. Oh, thank goodness you're here. What happened? Like, she's a really good actress, but she's in every single video. I swear to God. My shift, it ran late, and then I had extra hours, and... And, and him, too. He's in every single video. I swear to God. I swear to God, these are the only two Illuminati actors. Like, are, are there any other ones, or... No, just these two? Okay. I didn't Doc. get time to change. It's fine. It's okay. I'm just glad you're here. Just so you know, my dad can be a little... Sweetie! Oh god. Hi. See, and this is the same guy that was a douchebag in the other in the other Illuminati video. Hey, you don't for lunch! Uh, yeah, I told you I was coming. That's so great! I told you no on the phone! I said I don't want your freaking service. Dad! Gosh, I don't understand. How many times did you have to say no to these people? Dad, what are you talking about? Oh, um, honey, did you see this strange man standing next to you? Dad, What's my boyfriend? This is my boyfriend. I told you about him. Yikes. <laughs> She's funny, isn't she? <laughs> my daughter, she wanted to be a comedian in her other life. Dad, I'm serious. This isn't funny. Uh, hi, sir. My name's Dave. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Dave. Yeah. Honey, I made us something to eat. Come on, Dave. I wouldn't even want to go in the house after that. Jesus, that was not a good set at all. Jesus. Wow. That was terrible. This is a beautiful house, though. The house is beautiful, sir. Yeah, my dad likes to keep it clean. Yeah. He's probably never even been in a house like this before. Huh? Let's, let's go over here, right this way. Sanitizing. I mean, sanitizing your hands is normal. I mean, he's he's obviously just doing that because he's grossed out because he's a janitor. But no, no matter whose hands he touched, you don't know where they've been. Well, like, I guess you do know where they've been. But yeah, anyways. Couch, you're supposed to sit on it, are you not? Well, actually, you, you probably don't know what I mean, but it, it, it's custom, and <laughs> let, let me get a towel or something for you to sit on. Please. Dad, he just got up of work. He didn't have time to change, okay? Yeah, I'm really sorry. As you said, I didn't have enough time to change, but uh, I can sit somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. how about the floor? <laughs> Dad, that's so funny! It's a joke, obviously. Yeah. Of course you can sit on the couch. Don't worry. Okay. Of course you can sit on the couch. Okay, then. So, well, at least we know someone that can come help clean the couches. Am I right? You're, you're a janitor, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I just worked down the street at the school. That's actually where I met Andrea. It was really romantic. Really? Wow, so, so how did you guys meet exactly? Was it like, uh, oh, what, did you trip over his mop or, or wait, 
maybe you were cleaning the cafeteria and you bumped into her, spilled her food everywhere. Actually, we were both at a staff meeting and he walked up to me and he said this really funny joke about the yeah, cafeteria food yeah, and yeah. that's how we just clicked. Yeah, you just clicked. Yeah. Wow. You know, Andrea, your choice in men is very interesting. I didn't realize anyone could just walk up to you, ask for your number, and then boom, y'all are dating. Excuse me? Anyways, uh, Oof. what is it you do, sir? What do I do? Yeah, I run a business. I'm a business owner, an entrepreneur. Let me break that down for you. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Actually, I've always imagined being one. Always imagined? Yeah. Yeah. That's the funny thing about imagination. You can dream all you want, but I actually do it. Oh my god. I put in the work, and I'm a very successful businessman. Okay. What about you, Andrea? How's work for you? Actually, it's amazing. I've never felt so fulfilled in my life, and the children are so sweet. But what is she doing again? Yeah, you know, I always expected so much more from you. Oh my god. You could have been a VP by now. Anyway, you guys want to eat? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, actually, I didn't know you cooked. That was, it's really cool. Yeah, no, I make all kinds of bitch cuisine. Yeah, he used to make all of my favorite foods when I was younger. Yeah, that's why I made sushi from scratch today. Sushi. I don't like sushi. Yeah. Awesome. Like I'll, I'll have fish, but not sushi. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I can't even speak sushi. Not sushi. Sushi. <laughs> we love sushi. We usually go out I don't. about like maybe once a month. Yeah. It's so expensive, but it's really worth the money, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, wow, that's impressive. Once a month. I thought you guys might be more like a twice a year type. You know, with your budget being so tight. You know, on sushi. It's so expensive. Dad, sushi's not that expensive. I'm gonna go get that. Yeah, you, you go. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least he's allowed to sit at the table. Yeah, he's typing a douchebag, like a leave of a Who? Who's this guy? Here are the papers you requested. I made a case study and created a spreadsheet with all the numbers you asked for. Okay. Thank you so much. Of course. This is perfect. Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, who's this? Hey, would you like to stay for lunch? I don't know, sir. I guess I could find some way to fit it into my busy schedule. <laughs> a good man. Okay. Who is that, though? I don't understand. Andrew, meet Samuel. Oh, God. And then, and then he's going to try to set up with him in front of her boyfriend. Oh, Lordy. Nice to meet you. And you are I am. unimportant. Okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Bye. Samuel's gonna be joining us for lunch. It's awkward. I'm Dave. I'm Andrea's boyfriend. <laughs> you? What do you do for work? If we're Why? Like, okay, well he's an asshole too. <laughs> Why? Bitch, why? <laughs> okay. Going off appearances, um, assuming janitorial work, how are you dating Mark Stoddard? Dad, are you sure we have enough food for all four of us? Yes, honey. There's plenty of food. Yeah, Not really. I'm a janitor. Is that a problem? Yeah. I mean, we... Yeah, is, is, is that a problem? Like, what Like what the fuck's your attitude about? Like, yes, you make more money, and? We both work at the same school. Anyways, Mark, I just wanted to tell you that Andrea is amazing at this school. I mean, the kids love her, and she's always being so. I'm assuming towards. she's a teacher then. Isn't that nice? It's too bad those aren't real awards. Oh my God! Shut up. And it's real unfortunate that she can't afford sushi more than once a month. Oh my God! Shut up. She should have followed in her father's footsteps. He's a fatty, fatty. And then Shut maybe, the fuck up. Just maybe. She wouldn't be dating a janitor. Shut the fuck up. I may be a janitor, but I've noticed a miscalculation here. 
<laughs> Seems like you've been reporting him gross and not net. Excuse me? Excuse me? Do you even know how to read this? Yeah, it's not hard. I am one of the best VPs ever. I do not make mistakes, and that is how I get to be one of the best VPs ever. Everyone makes mistakes. On wiping the tables, moron. And stay out of my job. How dare you insult my VP? Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> How dare! Fuck off! Like, do you see how you've been treating me? How dare you do that, you, you motherfucker? You probably didn't even make it through fractions in school. Dad, that's enough. It's one thing when you humiliate me, but I'm not gonna stand for the both of you humiliating my boyfriend. Just leave. I'm just stating facts, am I not? Actually, could you uh, bring these to the sink, please, Dave? No, no, and no. Thank you. He's not doing that because we're leaving. Thank you. It's we about don't time. to be spoken to like this from family, and certainly not some stranger from your firm. Come on. That's facts. Fine. Be stubborn. I only want what's best for you, Andrea. Clearly, your janitor boyfriend has swept you off your feet. We're taking you away from things that are important. Well, I went well. Believe my daughter. She's dating an absolute moron. He's a janitor. How does that happen? He really had the nerve to tell me. I calculated incorrectly. Did you? Honestly, I wish you would date someone more like you. So an asshole. Real ambition, driven, goals. Someone who makes more than five dollars an hour or something. What can I say, sir? I'm a catch. He should mop himself out of the relationship. Then, someone with a real future, a real career, with your daughter. They better break up. If she had worked for my company, she would have never met someone that's a loser like that. Anyway, mm. I'm sorry that they stormed out. That's nah, okay. I'll see you at work tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, boss. Well, like, watch there be some actual miscalculation. I don't know what it would be, but watch there be some kind of miscalculation in there. I don't know fuck something up. I don't know how, I don't know what, but it'll fuck oh, something up. I cannot believe him! You know what? He has never supported a single decision I have ever made in my life. And he was so terrible to us in there. If he has a rep with us, why are you going to the house anyways? Like, do you live there, or do you live somewhere else? Because if so, do not visit your fucking dad. It was unacceptable! I know. I, I get it. You're mad. I, I am too. But that doesn't change the fact that he still is your dad. Yeah, that parents are not supposed to keep pushing their beliefs and their views onto you forever. Right. I mean, I am a grown woman, and I followed my passion for teaching, and I love what I do. That's what matters. Is that such a crime? No, that's what oh, matters. It's not. Uh, of course it's not. That's what matters. Have you tried talking to your dad? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm too angry right now, and on top of that, the way he treated you about your job, I just can't handle it. Yeah, I guess he was just expecting you to be with someone who's, you know, more successful. And not just a janitor. Like you me. are not just a janitor. You are so much more than that. And I don't care about how much sushi we get to eat. Or how much money we make. She's very pretty. Because you are more important to me than any amount of money ever would be. Thanks, babe. Well, I guess today went a little differently than I expected, but... <laughs> you should still talk to him. Fine, but I need some time, okay? <sighs> my dad and I would always get in these fights, and ever since my mom died, it just got worse and worse. He didn't understand me like she did. You know, I really wish that she was here. She would love you. I know, and I'm sorry, but I think your dad loves you too. I know how hard it might get with family, but he's still your father, so you need to talk to him. We'll see. Dave tries his best to cheer up Andrea. He brings her flowers and plays her a song on his guitar. But nothing seems to help her feel better. Then, Dave starts thinking about other ways he can make her happy again. Meanwhile, Mark reviews Samuel's papers, 
and notices that the numbers don't quite add up. <laughs> Was that a miscalculation? Samuel, the person I was hoping to see. Morning, Mark. Good morning. So I was going through the calculations, and it looks like I did find a minor mistake. Huh. Luckily, I was able to fix it before sending it to the investors. Oh, sir, I am so sorry. I might have mistakenly calculated, but don't worry. It won't happen next time. No worries. I'll catch you in the meeting tomorrow. Right. Thank you, sir. He quickly forgave him. Surprising. That was a horrible parking spot. Is he, is he gonna park there? Bro, you're literally... The line is right here, and then your car is literally like here and here. This side or that side, fam. Juice. Jeez, you're, you can't park for shit. Oh, sheesh. This place is huge. I have no idea how I'm gonna find out. Okay. Yeah, I've got this. For Andrea. Yeah, what is he doing? I'm so confused. What's happening? Yeah, uh, sir? Oh, God. I've got something I need to tell you. You again? Aren't you supposed to be busy doing nothing or something? Or aren't you supposed to be cleaning the toilets in the school? I need to talk to you. What do you want? I know it may not be my place, but after the other day, Andrea's been feeling really bad. I mean, she feels like you're never proud of her, and that you don't respect the decisions that she makes. First of all, who do you think you are to get involved in a relationship between me and my daughter? I don't mean any disrespect, okay? But after the other day, Andrea's been really sad. I mean, she's been reminiscing about her past with her mom, and She's just been really down lately. And, and I don't know either. I just thought she would be in such a different place in her life right now. Are you acting like she's doing bad she for herself? She's my daughter. Yes, but she's not doing bad for herself. Like, what are you, what are you bitching for? I really just want what's best for her. Yeah, and I want what's best for her as well. But sometimes, what's best is what she can do for herself. Fact. And I know you don't exactly support her career path, but honestly, she's amazing at what she does. Why do you care what she does? I also know that you don't accept me, but I really do love her. And I know how much you mean to her as well. said to you and I've treated you, you still want to help me? Well, I've learned that it doesn't always matter no. how people treat you. I mean, you may be a CEO and I may be a janitor, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're both humans. Right. I've learned to look past careers and titles and all that. Because honestly, the only way we're going to progress in life is, you know, to be there for one another. so foolish now. As you should. I guess I've just been so worried about titles and name and money. I'm so sorry for judging you because of your job. And I feel so bad, like... I still would not forgive if him for shit. Because again, you're very easy to come back, oh, why aren't you forgiving him? Bitch, he was literally a dick up until you saved his life. Like, it, it took you saving his life. 
to, to say, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I feel so bad now. Bitch, you feel bad because you almost died and I saved your ass. If I didn't save you, you'd be dead right now. I just wish I could apologize to Andrea now. I know she gets when she pushes me away with these arguments. I promise you that I'm going to do everything in my power to take care of her. Okay? I mean, if I have to work five jobs just to support her, then I will. But I really do love her. How about we have a little redo of that lunch tomorrow? I promise this time it'll be worth it and fun. Yeah, yeah, okay. We would both love that. Also, thanks, kid, for reminding me that there's more to life than titles and class and money. At the end of the day, all that matters is Andrea's happiness. Her happiness is the way. And I'm happy Andrea has you by her side. Are you though? Thanks. Only because I saved your life, Thanks huh? A lot. Mm hmm. Yeah, because I saved your bitch ass life, that's why. Oh my gosh, babe. I'm so excited for our date. Thank you so much for surprising me. I've been really down since the whole thing with my dad, and this is going to be a really nice distraction. I know, I've been really looking forward to spending some time with you. But, since it's a surprise, we're going to have you wear this blindfold. Oh, I love surprises! Okay. So, are we going to get sushi? <gasps> no, 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 steak! Oh my gosh, I want dumplings! Oh, I'm so hungry. Well, you just keep guessing. It just might be one of those. Don't let me run into anything. No, gotcha. Alright, we're almost there. Maybe her dad and stomach. Wait, can I take my blindfold off now, babe? I'm so hungry. Yeah, go for it. I'm okay. so hungry, I need to like, take off my blindfold. Ta da! What? Babe, I told you I wanted space. Oh my gosh, I'm out of here. Hey, hey, sweetie, please come inside. I promise this I'll be different. Just please come inside, babe. Can someone please tell me what we're doing here? Because last time we were here, it was a disaster, and I'm not trying to repeat that. I know, that's why I promise this time will be different. Listen, Andrea, first, I just want to apologize. I am so, so sorry for forcing my views on you and just expecting you to just follow everything I say. I just want to tell you how proud I am that you found teaching as your passion. I know how it must feel after mom left. And I'm so sorry that I wasn't there to support you through that process. As for Dave, this guy is amazing. He came to my work to talk to me and he even saved my life. What? He is such a blessing. And he even saved my life and that's the only reason I'm nice him now. That's the only reason. Only reason. And I'm so happy he is in your life. Mm -hmm. You really went and talked to my dad after everything that happened. Yeah, a little bit. Thank you so, so much. Of course. And, Dad, I know that you're only ever trying to push me and that you want what's best for me. But you have to trust that you raised a smart, independent woman who knows what's best for herself. I know, sweetie, and you're right. That's why I wanted to make it up to both of you and take us all out to lunch. Sushi. I, I just can't wait to spend more time together as a family. I just want to say that I'm really glad to be a part of this family. And I love you, Andrea. And by the way, Dave, those calculations were on point. I had to talk to Samuel the other day. Wow, you must have a real eye for mathematics. Uh, yeah, I really used to love math. <laughs> he loves math. Hey, well, if you're interested, I am hiring a second analyst. We would love to have someone of your skill and caliber. Hey, you're serious? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's an amazing opportunity. Thank you so much. I'll definitely consider it. Of course. Here's the family, guys. I can't wait to build members of both of you. 
I love you, Dad. I love you too, sweetie. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how about we go get dumplings? I thought you wanted sushi. Boys, we can have both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, I have my wallet, ouch, but yeah, okay. Let's go. Woo! Hey, Illumably fam, thank you for watching that video. At Illumably, our mission is to bring light back into the world. And with you, there's, there's nothing, nothing we, we can't do. do. Thank you for watching, everyone. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, I was supposed to say that. Oops. See you next time. Okay, that was kind of, kind of, kind of cringy. Anyways, okay, so. Comments. Subscribe so your dad doesn't act this way. I love how even when the dad was rude, Dave was still reminding her that he was her dad, even if such a supportive boyfriend. This actually happened to me, sort of. Oh, this plot's way too long of a story, but let's read it. <sighs> when I was a research medical student, I worked in a restaurant as a waiter. I was going out with a lady. Oh, James Bond, okay. <laughs> she didn't know I was a medical student. Her mother came into the restaurant with her and persuaded her to dump me because she could do so much better than a waiter. They came in again a few months later. Her mother choked on her food and it had to perform a Heimlich maneuver and save her life. She thanked me afterwards and then the manager... And then the manager said we're going to miss someone to go back to medical school. Mother said a wait. Or a what? I thought he was just a waiter. The manager said no, he, he's a research-based medical student. He's going back to medical school in a few weeks. The mother tried to reunite to get me to reunite with her daughter, but I was seeing someone else by then. Please do a remake of this video showing how this happened to a friend of mine. He noticed a method of medical error. His girlfriend's business, his girlfriend's father's business went bust because of it and he lost everything. The girlfriend and her father lost contact over the boyfriend. Ten years later, the, the father came for a job interview. Who was the COA inter inter interviewing? His daughter's boyfriend, now husband. The daughter came into the interview. During the interview, the father asked who was the little boy in the photo. And... Oh yeah, I'm so confused. So the first part is like a real story, right? And then the second part is like he wants to do a remake, a remake. How this happened to a friend of mine. So that is true too. He he just wants it into a story. I don't know. But damn, I want to stay impressed by the time and effort you put into these videos. Keep it up. Her dad is full of pride. You should never judge him. But it's covered. The funny thing is, dad and VIP think Dave is dumb because he's a janitor. But the problem with that is because he could be a janitor for a million different reasons. You know, he could have had a degree. Exactly. Exactly. But just because you have a certain job, it doesn't mean you're stupid. Or smart. Like, if you're a CEO, it doesn't mean you're smart. No. It doesn't mean you're stupid. Like, you could be stupid, so, you know. <sighs> I'm so fucking tired now, man. It's 2 a.m. I'm really fucking tired right now. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And... Yeah, spam the comments down below with what you guys thought. Peace. <laughs>